In this video, I'm going to share with you a true story, a powerful story, and you're not going to believe it until you hear it. And it's actually the story of a death row convicted man and the story of a very successful man who seems to be living the American dream. But beyond that is that they have something in common. And the story starts like this. It's basically an interviewer, somebody who went to interview that person who was in jail and awaiting you know, death for the crime that he commits. And he just wanted to find out what led you in such a dark place. What is it that happened to you or in your life or that led you to make those decisions that ultimately brought you to this destiny? And when he asked those questions and they were having this conversation, the, the inmate pretty much said that, you know what, I grew up in a very tough environment. My dad was an alcoholic. He was beating my mom. He was often abusing and beating me and my brother. We didn't have much, we didn't have much education. We grew up in a very tough neighborhood. And he was sharing all that pain that he was going through when he was young. And he said, growing up in such a place, how else could have turned up? What other choice did I have? And so they decided to go on after this interview to interview another man. And the opposite, very successful, owns a big house, married, kids, watches, success, and all these kind of things that we associate to success and living the American dream, so to speak. And they wanted to find out exactly as well what led that man to create such a life of abundance, prosperity, and fulfillment for himself. What drived him to commit so much? And the guy was sharing very much a similar story. He said, you know what? I grew up in an environment I didn't have much when I was young. My dad was drinking a lot. He was abusing. He was beating my mom. He was even eating me and my brother. I didn't have much education. It was a rough neighborhood. I had nothing going on for me growing up. But what choice did I have other than succeed, other than making a different life for me and my future family? Because I made sure that I'll never go back to that place. Isn't that a powerful motivation? But what's most interesting in this story is that the two men were brothers. In fact, they were twins. They both grew up in the same house with the same parents, the same abusive drunk father, the same environment, the same education. But one of them decided to use this to fuel his anger, to fuel his fear, to fuel his insecurity, to fuel his hatred his resentment for life and people. The other one used this to fuel his motivation, his dedication, his courage to create a new life, to go somewhere to make sure he never goes back. And because of that, they created radically different lives because they all came down to the decision they make. For one man, life is happening to me. I'll never amount to anything because you know, of what happened to me. And for the other man, it was like, life is happening for me. And I'll never go back to that place. I'll do whatever it takes. And that decision to not see yourself as a victim, to not see himself as hopeless, helpless, not able to do anything, but to decide that I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to find a way. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to move. I'm going to grow. I'm going to create a life where I'll never have to go back to such pain, to such suffering, and especially not for my future family. It always comes back to a decision we make about what it means to us. Because we all experience failures, we all experience heartbreak, we all experience things that we don't want to experience. Because it's just life. But the most important is what does it mean to you? What can you learn? And are you going to let this story become who you are and lead you and control and shape your destiny? Or are you going to step up, take responsibility and be like, you know what? It sucked. It was painful. Maybe it was even horrible. But this is not who I am. And I'm not going to let that story define me and not shape where I'm going. I'm going to shape where I'm going because of what happened. And so the same thing can happen to two persons, but because of what it means to them, they're going to end up in a very different place. And that's why you ought to look back at your life. If there's anything that is holding you back, any story that you keep telling, anything that you keep holding grudges, resentment, or waiting for other people to apologize, you are being a victim of that story. 
Because even if you take that person, you put them on a rocket, you shoot them to the moon, what's going to change in your life? You're still going to have to deal with the emotion, with the meaning, with the belief, with the story, with the hurt. So you hold the key to your future. Even if that means taking one small step in a new direction, one bold step into a new future, and one step a day crafting a new life, because you have the power. So I hope you enjoyed this story, guys, because I found the story so meaningful, so deep, so rich, and so influential as a reminder that we hold the key to the future. And it's not what happened to us, but it's what we do about it that matters the most. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Be well.